We discovered a fast radio burst, which we believe is a new type of astrophysical phenomenon. It is a, a really brief burst of radio waves lasting only about three thousandths of a second. And we believe that this is coming from very, very far away, well outside the solar system or outside the Milky Way galaxy. We think it's coming from uh, well across the universe. And we're very excited because we don't know what's causing these fast radio bursts. The big um, nebula that you see on the left of the picture, labeled S147, that's a supernova remnant. That's the remnant of an exploded star. And on the right, IC410, that's a star formation region. But um, neither of those is, is really relevant. The, what's really important for our discovery is the little green circle that's just above IC410. And that is the region of the sky where the fast radio burst came from. But we don't think it's related to either of those two beautiful objects. We're just showing where in the sky it was from. There are objects that produce bursts of radio waves, like you're thinking. They're called pulsars. And in fact, that is what our research group studies normally. And that's what we were looking for using the Arecibo telescope. But by luck, because these fast radio bursts produce emission that's kind of like pulsars, except that pulsars repeat. So pulsars that we know of in the sky, and we know of 2,000 of them in our galaxy, they go beep, 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 beep in radio waves because they produce a pulse of radio waves each time they rotate like a little cosmic lighthouse. But these fast radio bursts just produce a single pulse. And they never, we, so far, as far as we can tell, they don't repeat. So we think it's really a very different phenomenon. And not only that, the pulsars that are in our galaxy, the radio pulsars, they're in our backyard. They're intrinsically, they're bright enough for us to see across the galaxy. But these fast radio bursts are millions of times further away. And that means they have to be much, much brighter intrinsically for us to detect them at such a large distance. So it has to be some kind of new phenomenon. It can't be like a pulsar. We believe these fast radio bursts are occurring all over the sky. We think something like several thousand per day are occurring at random locations on the sky. It was impossible to know this previously because you require very, very sensitive radio telescopes to detect them and also very fast computers to be able to uh, pick out tiny, sh very sh brief radio bursts. So the projects that we work on involve supercomputers and this the kind of technology has allowed us to make this new kind of discovery. So it could be happening anywhere on the sky uh, at any time.